My name is Mabel Wilson, and I'm a professor of architecture and African-American and African diaspora studies at Columbia University. While I'm here at the Academy, I will be completing a manuscript for a book called Building Race and Nation, which studies the influence of slavery and indigenous dispossession on the building of American civic architecture. And the project examines these questions between really the end of the Revolutionary War and the beginning of the Civil War. Uh, its focus as a region looks at the Middle Atlantic states. So I look at Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and all the way south to uh, Richmond, Virginia. One of the important things about the project and, and something that I really want readers of the, the book to recognize is that as Walter Benjamin reminded us, architecture really exists in a state of distraction. It's, it's kind of background noise and we, we don't really pay attention to it. But what's important is it, it shapes our everyday lives. It's, it's where we live, it's where we work. It establishes our sense of our individuality, our perceptions, but it also shapes spatial relationships. Um, and so architecture is really an important part of how the modern world took shape. And I would say at the heart of my project is, is really to understand a paradox, and some might even argue a, a disavowal at the heart of the uh, liberal democratic project of the United States is, how do you have a project of liberty, freedom, equality, and justice, and yet these various civic monuments like the White House, the US Capitol, the Virginia State House, Washington DC as a whole was built with enslaved labor and on land taken from indigenous peoples. And I think that's really something that we have to consider, right, as a nation or, you know, as a global population moving forward.